Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the Tribecast. This is Burgo coming at you from the Bastion. We're gonna play another couple maps here for the evening. Feed I we track down a get us back updated. Near the edge of the city. Let's see if we can get a few more cores, guys. How does that sound? We're gonna go to the Pythe Orchard, which will be nestled by the shrine to the god of commotion and order. Sounds absolutely terrifying. So let's see how we do. Welcome back. We've taken a few little break from Bastion. No use praying to the gods these days. No time for it either. Alright. Kid says a little prayer anyway. Couldn't hurt, right? <laughs> so not. Jesus. I uh, just want to update you. We've been yeah, doing some Guild Wars 2. Place is a dead end in more ways than one. Guild Wars 2 uh, Halloween event on there. Um, I'd actually like to do a lot more with uh, Guild Wars 2. We have a pretty sweet guild on there right now, and uh, we might be doing a little advertising for them. Uh, so yeah, let's hope hope we can hope we can get another little playlist going with that. Um, some kind of exciting news. Um, Hopefully, hopefully, there's probably about maybe a half percent chance. Um, may actually get Folks asked to be on the Tales of Tyrion. Here to pay their respects to Pith, the bull. Oh, jeez, okay. Really small walkway here. But uh, we also did uh, some Payday the Heist as well last night. Um, that, so far, that's actually been one of our fastest growing uh YouTube playlist, so we're definitely gonna have well, to do some of that again. Long so. gone now. And the orchard core is long gone too. But the core's gone. Seems Pith ain't much of a watchdog. Alright. But let's focus on Bastion for right now. So obviously. And that's what you guys are watching this for. Pith stood for something once. Something real. Ooh. Pith is kind of a cool name for a god. I like that. In time, though, the bull stopped being a symbol and started being decoration. Oh. He couldn't even save his loyal subjects. Okay, so we've got kind of an old god's uh, power dying. Storyline kind of going on right now. Let's find out what's done here. So see something shiny, and we love shiny stuff. Something coarse. Excellent. Is it, uh. Yeah. Something for one of the weapons. I don't even know if we have it yet. That's okay. Let's keep going. Piv makes a decent scarecrow, at least. Oh, shit. Then Pith lights up like a rodeo. Ain't easy punching through his hide. There we go. Must have been guarding that shrine. Ooh. So what'll it be? Invoke the gods or tell them off? Sweet. What does this do? Okay. Pith, god of commotion and order. Foes shall grow quicker. To move and to strike. The wakeful bull, patient yet temperamental, adorns the likeness. City walls with this likeness. Awesome. Okay. Piv. Caution, foes will be stronger. So we get 10% XP and no bonus. So it's kind of like a challenge mode. Let's go ahead and give it a shot though. So. He decides to press his button. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Well if the gods are alive, they must be plenty sore. Oh my goodness. What have we done? What did I get myself into, guys? Ah, uh, yeah, we don't care. We're hardcore enough. Kid ain't never seen windbags that quick. Maybe old Pith put a scare in him. That doesn't matter. We are going to wreck these fools. We're pro enough gamers, so we can, we can handle this kind of crap. I know most of you will agree with me. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, 
most of you guys probably probably saw my Guild Wars stuff, so I mean it's fairly obvious that we're pro. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Dominated right now. Come on, die, 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 die. Yeah. It's trial, and he's richer for it. Very good. All right, where is this? Plush pit. Gods don't care about trinkets, but the kid ain't no god. Oh yeah, that's true. Um. Now I have absolutely no idea where to go. This way. Oh. Oh boy, I think we just need to get back. Oh yeah! Rocking the repeater, okay. Deal. Kid ain't found a core, but at least he found Zolf's precious shrine. Let's get the heck out of here then. Wow, that was that was pretty intense. Now we can build a shrine of our own. Ooh. Though I got some alternatives in mind. Yeah, I bet you do. We found out uh, that the stranger's name is actually Rux, which is a sweet name. That's about the plush pet. Zolf doesn't touch the thing. Says the god of commotion is no children's toy. <laughs> the Ura feared the gods. We turned them into toys, oh. put their faces on our walls. Oh gosh. We we are not god fearing people, I guess. Which is funny. That is sweet. I like that we're decorating now. What's this? Is that supposed to be for some pretty lady or something? Alright. What do we got here? Sure, surpassing skill with the camera. I don't know what to do with this stuff. Oh. oh, yeah, we have that something port, so we can have to And, yeah, we don't have it yet. Okay, that's fine. That is fine, guys. Check the distillery, see if we can do anything. Not yet. Alright, well, let's go see if we can find a port yet today. What's this? Proving ground, okay. We are going to go to Cinderbrick Fort. Too bad it lies deep inside the toughest fort in the city. Fantastic. Let's go. I hope you guys are liking this series. If you do, obviously leave a like. Keep going with it. There's only one way in the Cinderbrick Fort. The hard way. Oh my god. Alright, this is going to be brutal. Hopefully we sure, are right. the city marshals may be gone. But now the fort's crawling with windbags. <laughs> we gotta love those trip mines. You gotta respect those. And I... VA are probably my favorite weapon right now. So we're going right in. We're going in guns a blazing, boys and girls. Ah, uh, yeah, we're probably gonna get out. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. The windbags ain't so lucky. No, uh, they're not. Oh my gosh. Oh my... Goodness. Oh my, what? Get on notice. Okay, we have one chance left. Okay, let's just roll. Let's just roll. We don't need to deal with this crap. Well, windbags young and old keep fighting for the fort. At least the marshals left the kid a parting gift. Oh, some musket. Bags just can't handle. Something that'll punch clean through. Oh. Awesome! Shotgun, new favorite. Come here, you punk! Oh gosh. Kid can't hardly tell up from down after a while. You're a jerk, that guy's rude. I don't like him. Alright. And as always, if you have any tips for me, because obviously I'm not the greatest at games, but if you have any tips for me, they are all appreciated. Oh, squirts. 
smash these fools up. I'm really glad we don't have ammo, because I'm really bad at ammo managing. Really bad at just drove the wind bags topside. A lot of them wound up here in this very fort. Ooh, the Marshall Sweet. I really like this scrap musket. It's so cool. Really Could have been with it. business underground like in the old days. Oh. Yay, level up, sweet. Got a big arrow. Oh, can't Marshall. use the Marshall supplies, but the kids sure can. Yes, we can. Do we want to stick with the hammer? No, let's go with the war machete. And I really like the scrap musket, so we're gonna stick with that. And of course, the trip mines. So. I'm gonna go with that and the hope As for the wind bags, okay. Cinder Brick gave him enough heat and metal to munch on for a while. Ooh, a court! Well, the fort ain't theirs by right. Awesome! Can't blame him for wanting it, though. Not a scratch try on him as he presses on the higher get through these guys. We're running through something bigger than ourselves. You know, we don't need to worry about every, every detail. Not every, not every problem needs to be solved by us. We're going to solve this problem right here, though. We're going to practice on this guy, just for counter's sake. There we go. We gotta. We really need to get better at that. Kids blasting everything in sight with That's a right. musket. Times like this, kids glad he packed trip mines. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Always glad his plane gone haywire. Windbags gummed up the works. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Kid ain't afraid of getting burned. Trap the kid in the middle of the fort's parade grounds. Oh boy. Not good, not good, not good. Right, let's see. We're all woods here. Then they bring out Glutus and Clandon and all their scumbag uncles. They got something to gain, and only their sorry hides to lose. goodness for this musket. We're getting all the help you guys. That's why we came here. The only reason we go anywhere is for more help you guys. Kid takes down Glutus. Or well, maybe it was Glandon. <laughs> we don't know. Who cares? The chumps. The other big fella soon joins his brother wherever they are now. Finally, get the message. There we go. Oh, jalapenos. Good thing the windbags don't know. Kids fresh out of health times. I know. Oh, yeah, we're gonna make some killer salsa tonight. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Let's 
salsa. Ooh, Marshall's badge. Kid cool. used to dream of getting a Marshall's badge. But <laughs> like this. That's sweet. And the Skyway. We're and back to the Bastion. Left for nobody down at Cinderbrook Fort. I really like this scrap monster. Good pickup. Kid pick shows up. up just as Ulf's telling me about his own journey to the city. It seems the only thing the calamity saved for Zolf was a smoking pipe. Oh. Poor kid collapses after just one drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh! Oh no! What does that do? Oh, the my past. Gosh. Only good thing ever come out of the past is history. Boy, I don't know what we're doing here. Oh, jeez. Hardly had a moment's rest since all this started. Oh, jalapenos. Even if they are old. Fair to say he's led a hard life. Supposing what he says in his sleep ain't no lie. Oh gosh, I don't talk about sleep, do I, guys? <laughs> Shit, mine's the best, for real. He never knew his old man. But he had his mama to take care oh, of. Oh, jalapenos galore. With pure white hair like his. <laughs> Having his mama's hair did the kid no favors while he was growing up. But he learned to hold his own out there. Ooh. Bully, huh? But I was never really bullied as a kid. I would not have been a pleasant experience. I don't think it's really a pleasant experience for anyone. Honestly, I think that's a pretty safe assumption. School ain't working out, so the kid signs up for a turn on the rippling walls. Make his mama some money. Thanks to folks like the kid, the walls kept Ceylonia safe from whatever's out there. The elements, the aura, you name it. Once a kid done his time, he hurried on home. Turns out his mama's time was done too. Oh, oh, God. Oh, jeez. What the heck? I don't know 
why my trip money isn't working. Oh, jeez. Oh, crap. City had nothing for him. The money he'd been sending home was nowhere to be found either. So what did the kid do? Why he went right on back to the walls for another five years? Oh. This game does do a really good job of getting you emotionally involved um, with the character's life. I really like that. Really, really cool. In the history of Ceylandia, nobody has ever volunteered for a second shift on the walls. It's because we're hardcore! It's because we shoot turrets point blank, boy. We crazy. <laughs> Uh, right? Got your mind there. So we'll cut him down. Come on. Go. How there, kid, learn to fend for himself, learn to build, learn to break. I believe it. I don't know how long this is supposed to be. Oh no! In time, the kid earned good standing with the marshals. They trusted him to scout out farther than anybody. Eight reflections remain. Don't think we're gonna last that long, but we'll see. Durable spawner ever. Go. One night, on one of his expeditions, the ground beneath him shuddered, cracked, and split apart. That's not good. I don't think we're gonna make it, guys. Saw nothing where well, the world used to be. Heal, the please. calamity happened just like that. Oh boy. Oh crap. crap. Anyway. Oh, back up.
We're on to pro moves. Uh oh. All the kid had to work with was his hammer and the clothes on his back. Great, we have the toughest freaking squirts on earth to deal with. This is actually really good. Um, it really help us adjust seeing tougher enemies, just kind of a tougher, tougher levels of the game. I hope, anyway. Learn a lot more about conservation. Through twisted streets, he ran with nothing but the city crest and an old stranger's voice to guide him. That's, that's you. Rex. Oh, oh crap. Oh jeez. I don't know guys. It's gonna be a close call if I can if I can survive this. Oh man. Oh gosh. So close. Ah. Uh. One down. Oh, we'll just do this then. Hey, it glitched? I'm not complaining though. Oh no, they're just stuck. Will it finally wow. arrive at St. Lundy's vaunted safe haven? He and no one else. Uh, yes, kill each other. Thankless work from a man who ain't even asked his name. I don't know who's sending your text messages right now. 
Sure, I may be the one who dreamt up the walls and the bastion, but the kid made him real, not me. Oh, jeez. Pith is in the house, guys. Ah, oh, jeez, I think we just died. Might as well. We're in like turbo reaction time now. Pith does not like us still. Still not friendly. Ah, oh no. Alright guys, well we will give that another try when we get some better, better equipment. As for right now, I'm going to go eat some dinner. Thanks for joining me again. This latest episode of the Bastion. Let's go ahead and get this core input though. We'll come back to the pipe. The marshals seem like good men, he says. They treated him with dignity. Okay. Zolf brought his antique smoking pipe all the way from the terminals. Even since the Ura surrendered to us, the marshals kept a wary eye on him. And one of those texts is actually from Kenny, uh, the guy we played Payday with uh, last evening. And he got offered a position as a full-time employee, so that's great. Congratulations, Those Kenny. travels ain't much compared to what the kids had to go through for all this. All right. Ooh, do we want the shrine? Or the lost and found? Let's build the shrine. I really like that idea. New idols the available. Old, the Pantheon. Right, we aren't going to worry about that for right now. All right, guys, thanks again for joining me for this latest episode of The Bastion. Or just Bastion, I guess. Uh, this has been Burgo. Have a great night. We'll see you next time. Thank you.